Pendant Film Festival. We are reviewing now the films, the short films that deal about the women's case. And we have, well, a very wonderful director, a great director like Emily Grooms, and a very suffering actress, Vlada. <laughs> How are you? Good, Welcome. very good. Congratulations for your film. Thank you. How Thank did you get in touch with Vlada uh, for this role in, in Julie Baby? When, uh, when we put out the casting call, Vlada was actually one of the first submissions yeah. for um, this mother role. And uh, I didn't really have in my mind uh, a Russian actress for the part. Mm -hmm. And so I thought, well, this is amazing. But I wasn't really thinking about that. And then I came back to her a few weeks later and was like, it's got to be you. I flew her down from New York for a chemistry read, like, last minute. And she just blew it out of the water. There was, and, and then it, I think um, not only Lada's talent, but also her background, as soon as she opens her mouth, it gives so much backstory to the character. Yeah. So, yeah, um, yeah you just added so many layers to it. Yeah, absolutely. What did you think when you read the script? I felt the urge to submit as possible to to tell you how it was. I read the uh, description of the project and then the character, yeah. and I immediately set up my phone and the light, and I immediately uh, filmed it. I probably in the self tape, I can I didn't have a reader, so I had to make uh, spaces between while the reader was talking so and then I put the voiceover afterwards m myself talking because I had the, this urge to submit as soon as possible because um, that character spoke so much to me I felt like I um, I had even though it's uh, easy to judge her at the same time as I was working on her I was feeling a lot of com I developed a lot of compassion for her and understanding of such character. So, yeah, and I'm happy that you really let me be a part of it. I got so but lucky. <laughs> wow, so lucky, lucky, but uh, there must be part of your work because the three women, it's three women different ages, uh, we can say there's a teenager and there's, wow, well, Julie Baby, uh, this, uh, uh, they are very good performers. They're, they perform like very powerfully with very touching moments. So how did you deal with them? How did you choose them and, well, put them to work? <laughs> yeah, um, I love casting. I, I yeah? freelance as a casting director as well. So the performance oh. was the most important thing to me about this film, mm -hmm. um, more than anything else. So I cast nationwide. I wanted to be sure that I could find the best performers for these roles and just put a lot of emphasis on the performance and the casting. Yeah. Um, so once you've got great actors, like. They, they bring it themselves. Um, working hmm. with uh, Betty Jo, who stars as Julie, yeah. seven, that was, uh, that was definitely, I, you know, you have to communicate direction to a seven-year-old very differently from an adult or even a teenager. Right. Um, but I think the three of them also just like uh, gelled and uh, became inseparable in oh, many yeah. ways. And there was just chemistry between them already. Right. Uh, yeah, sure. I, I loved working with the girls. and I, I was worried at the beginning because those scenes are such intense and cruel in a way. And there's... Um, I, uh, to work with such a baby and um, after having fun with her between takes, then immediately be that monstrous in a way, human being. And to s there was a thin line how to how, how to be gentle with a with little girl, but still uh, deliver what was required of us. But yeah, the, the girls were amazing. They they seemed like they've been doing it for ages. Yeah. <laughs> for all their seven seven years. But it was an amazing experience. So it was uh, was it. Uh you could define it like a nice shooting because from the outside it looks like well what happened was terrible but uh, it's the story but uh, 
did you kind of enjoy it? Too? Um, I would say I enjoy the um, the meaning of the story. The okay. Why why was it made? I, I can't say that I enjoyed uh, yeah. uh, cursing at the little girls or yeah. be mad at that little teenager. It, it, that that was fun, but knowing why I'm doing that and to see the outcome of it, that's what brings me joy and understanding why I was going through that difficult emotions and mm -hmm. digging that um, yeah. deep and unpleasant places, so there was, it justified it. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, and in your case, Julie, uh, did you have to work or do you have to edit some scenes? So how did you work with the material you had, one shot? How did you work to show us, well, the performances, the powerful, like, cutting and uh, the feeling that we are there? How did you package everything? Um, I think, I mean, I put the performance above everything. So yeah. really, I, I try to you know throw away any any scripted ideas or preconceptions of uh, shot progression it was shot very naturally anyways with a huge oh. amount of coverage and a, yeah. a lot of takes especially with um, Julie baby yeah um, and my philosophy of editing is always to edit for performance so uh -huh. to take the oh. best takes and work with those and not to sort of like cram my director's ideas onto yeah. the performances that are there just to take the best that's there and work with that yeah that that takes a challenge that's a skill because sometimes you have to leave space for the actor's response sometimes you have to cut earlier yeah. so that that takes that, that that's a, needs a, a skill and uh, well how have you seen the the film because uh, today you've seen it at the biggest screen have you seen it before uh, how do you see it what's your review I, obviously I saw this film before Emily sent me uh, yeah. the link so I could see it at home even though I tried to watch it on the big screen at home on my TV, today was a totally different experience. It felt like I was watching it for the first time, honestly. Yeah. And um, I don't know. I, I I just felt so much for those all those three girls. And um, again, today it was heart wrenching. It was it was like I was watching it for the first time. And I, I had those tears on in my eyes again and yeah I'm, I'm th thank you pendants festival for letting us be here and to experience what will this experience. what will this film what will you carry from this film i think in well five years ten years imagine that in ten years i tell you oh i couldn't record the interview <laughs> we have to redo it <laughs> and then you have to remember in five years, ten years, twenty years, I don't know, what you had from from this film? Well, for me, this film will always be in my heart, I think, yeah. because that's my, my first project where I um, was totally invested, I would say. Oh. Yeah. That's that's good to know. And in your case, Emily, you you will say five years, ten years from now, it was the beginning of a lifetime collaboration with Blada, or I would be so lucky. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. I mean, this is uh, loosely based on um, experiences growing up, so it's yeah. very. Um, uh, personal in that respect yeah. but then it's also named Julie baby and I felt very much like this film became my baby um, and uh, yeah I guess yeah, I guess that is the start of something yeah. absolutely and uh, what for the future what are your next projects uh, do you have something in mind you have one to rest uh, do you want to come back to Pendants Film Festival? Uh, do you want to interview by me again? Well, whatever. What's the future? I, uh, I actually just last week delivered a short film that I was asked wow. to direct for um, 
uh, a production company in Austin. It's yeah. called Grand Romantic Gestures. Uh -huh. um, it'll be in festivals this year, uh, hopefully. And uh, and now that you know that's done, this is out in the world. Um, I think it's time to start uh, working on adapting a, a a memoir that I'd like to turn into a feature. Wow. Yeah. Wow. But I also um, still work in casting and still really get to enjoy engaging in performance yeah. um, like that for other directors too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You said you you enjoy you enjoy casting, so. That's that's a part, that's a very important part for the film, and in your case, Lala? Uh About the future project. Yes, uh, future projects. Yeah. Uh, so, n I I I was in a short film, which is also going. I, I think they are submitting now. They just re released the trailer. It's called the Thief. Uh huh. About motherhood is a sacrifice. It's like about postpartum depression. Oh. Yeah. It's like horror, comedy, thriller. Oh. And there's another uh, feature film I've been on uh, called Avenue U. Yeah. Shot in Brooklyn. And there's another feature film in, in pre production now. I don't know if I can say the name yet. <laughs> okay. So thank you. Uh, congratulations once again for your film, for your baby in this case. <laughs> and well, see you next time. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much.